M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Ham clock by Elwood WB0OEW. How cool is this? I'm running it currently on my Raspberry Pi 5. It's connected to a very large monitor and I'm just working my way around the different grids and I thought I'd show you what they do. Now, there is an instruction manual which I'll put a link in the description, but I'm just gonna go through and click one grid at a time. So we'll start with the top left grid that you can see here. And that's got my call sign, the time, the date, the year, UTC. And if you look closer, there's my actual IP address there in small writing as well, okay? Next one down on the, the orange grid that we're seeing here, that's the DE grid. That's got my location that I entered in the setup process. And I notice if I click down here, the bottom right, click that, and it changes, okay? Goes from, gives some time. And let's click the UTC, see if that changes. And there you are, you can change your UTC. And mine is on zero at the moment, okay? Let's go down and hit the DX green panel. This is displaying information that we can request when we click on the big map. So if I click on the map somewhere, click here, you get another list. We can set the DE and the DX, and we can change route, zoom, and recenter. To the right of my call sign, you've got these three grids, then a small grid at the end. Let's click at the top of the first one and you'll get all these choices. Let's choose, let's just choose the moon for now. Click that and then you can OK it. Then we'll move over to the planetary one marked 4.0 at the moment. Click the top and you get more choices and let's choose Aurora. So you can see several choices here. Just pick the one that you're interested in, you've got NOAA, Live Spots, DX, let's do the Live Spots one. You can choose more than one, we've got SOTA as well, Solar Wind, Sunspot, POTA, I know these are all popular terms in ham radio, and then click OK, and then that will cycle through. We've now got the moon showing there on the left, and it will cycle through different displays. So now we're on the third, was it third one across, one from the last top right, we'll click that. And again, similar, similar choices. So let's choose this one to be DX, WX, and then we'll okay that. So you customize and decide what the grid is gonna show. And on the right here, you've got the smaller grid. We click that, see if we can get some choices. There you go. Is that special weather NX DXF, which is I know it stands for something in Canada, but it's a bit too long for me to remember. But I'm just going to okay it anyway. So, look, more information there. You've got live spots coming in. Let's click some of these. Here it says K7. Okay, let's just set that to our DE. Click OK. And our DE has changed now. And, and you can do the same for DX. What's this one here? Geo32. That's the satellite that we've selected. So the bottom left grid, if we double click that, we can actually select a satellite. Let's just get to the right point. But you can select different satellites. There you are. Clicked it. We'll just choose one at random. Click OK. And of course, you can select the ISS if you want. Click OK. Go back to the grid. And it's now going to show us our satellite. So it's great fun, isn't it? What's this one down here? ZL6B. Just click that. Yeah, it's now showing the path of that satellite. I just think it's really good. I know we can see the sun. If I go to the top, see if I can get the sun showing. Try it up here. Bit of a lag with my mouse because I'm on. I'm, I'm actually using it via my Raspberry Pi, but recording on my PC, so that's creating a lag. So I just think, check, you know, have a little play. That's the thing to do, isn't it? And see, um, 
read the instruction manual it's free to download very easy to download as well it literally takes about three minutes to download this Thanks. give it a go thanks for watching my youtube channel and the link to install this is in the description bye for now